Today's video on Redbeard Engineered is going to be a quick and concise installation guide for the Ring Pro 2 doorbell cam. I am not sponsored by Ring and purchased this product with my own dollars. In the installation kit, you get the Ring Cam, a 1 inch angled wedge, instructions, hardware, and a Pro Power Kit for your mechanical existing chime. While I'm showing some panning shots here, I wanted to mention my motivation for purchasing this specific model. The major selling point for me on this Pro 2 cam was the head to toe video. I'll be mounting this doorbell cam in a location where the tall field of view will be necessary in order to see packages left at the doormat. I don't want to spoil the ending here, but I was extremely impressed with the results and performance of this camera after installation, as you'll see later in the video. The first step is to locate and turn off the breaker associated with your doorbell. We'll then remove our current doorbell. As a safety check, use a voltage tester to verify the circuit is dead. The last thing anyone wants is to have died while installing a doorbell cam written on his or her gravestone. Using the wedge mounting plate as a drill guide, I drilled a 5 seconds of an inch hole into the concrete with a masonry bit. I felt like these 3 16 of an inch concrete fasteners from Lowe's are a better option than the provided hardware. After getting the top hole drilled, I'll get the top fastener started so that the bottom hole is spaced out appropriately on the wall. Once the mounting plate is installed, it's time to connect the doorbell cam. Pop off the front cover and connect the exposed wires from your previous doorbell to the back of the camera. You can then use the provided screws to attach your doorbell cam to the wedged mounting plate. If I had to do this again, I'd probably insert a spacer behind the wedge mounting plate to have it sit a little more flush with my bricks, but this got the job done. We then need to install the Pro Power Kit to the mechanical chime inside the house. Simply remove the cover and connect the fork connectors to each of the chime's power terminals. I didn't show it here, but I did verify this circuit was dead before messing with it. Note the original wires will stay in their same location on the chime, and the power kit connectors are additional items on these terminals. Once connected, you can then position the power block in the chime in such a way that it does not interfere with the cover. The block comes with a piece of adhesive for this purpose. As you can see, I tried it on the front of the assembly, but later came back and positioned the block on the side so that my cover would fit better. It can get a little tight in there, so if the block doesn't fit in your chime cover, you could always route the wires out the top of the cover and lay the block flat on the top of your cover. The next step is to turn the power back on at your breaker, and we can start the setup process. Log into your Ring app, hit the hamburger menu at the top left of your screen, and select Set Up a Device. The rest of the process is pretty straightforward. After you select door cam and scan the QR code on the side of your door cam, the application will step you through the configuration. If this is your first Ring device, make sure you have your Wi-Fi password on hand. I'm not going to dive into the multiple options and features of this cam in this video, however I'd encourage you to spend some time in the application messing around with them. The color night vision and HDR are particularly pretty cool. The last step for me was to lay down some silicone along the edges of my camera since I mounted it to an uneven brick surface. This is just a precautionary step to help keep the electronics dry. So here are some performance shots. You can see in the first clip that the camera will pick up movement pretty far away, which is adjustable if that bothers you. It also has a really good field of view on the doormat, which is why I bought the specific camera in the first place. The last shot here is of the night vision picking up a possum walking across my flower bed. This footage has the night color vision turned on, so that should give you a good idea of what it can do. I really hope this video was helpful to those of you out there looking to install a Ring doorbell cam. If it was, please hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel for fun projects in the future. With that, this is Redbeard Engineered, signing off.